silence is golden talking is silver then obviously a larger percentage of people will go for gold than silver because gold have more value than silver welcome to our youtube channel welcome to our youtube channel thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you this morning i want to talk about silence in two ways most times unknowingly we sell ourselves out especially when you are not spiritually inclined by god's grace to know who to speak with or to know whom you are speaking with what he or she is capable in the spiritual realm most things we think um are after us or most things we experience in life are sometimes caused by our weights in the journey of in the journey of success in a man's life you tend to get um intoxicated by your success and you feel that the only way to make people know that you're succeeding is to loud it out is to tell them each and every step of your life the next step you want to take that is why sometimes you find some persons handling a project but this project never gets accomplished why because they have told it to the wrong person now there is a video i made about an evil eye evil eye is not just about you uh, sorry it's not just about someone taking your name to a diabolical place no evil eye starts from the heart yes evil eye starts from the thoughts others have towards you they may not speak it out but envy jealousy they are throwing evil eyes at you now so many persons have created a loophole in their life through what they share with some persons you have a project you are handling but you're so eager to tell the next person i am not saying sharing some things with some persons in quote some persons is wrong that is not what i am trying to say but before you begin to share some things with some persons in quote be it that you are spiritually alert by the grace of god to know some persons to share some things with sometimes the moment you speak of that thing that is the moment it spiritually starts going down there is a saying a do i call it a local saying that it is the rat at home that goes out to tell the one outside that there is meat come follow me to the house let's go devour that meat why don't you learn to keep your plans your projects to yourself until it is actualized why open yourself up why why give them a gateway to your life why not make it seems like nothing is happening until you bring out the final results in life now not everyone that smiles with you are happy with you in this type of silence that i want to talk about i want to talk about two types of silence in this type of silence that has to do with your project your progress in life your everything that concerns you personally please i want us to be careful have a short mouth do not share your life, your plans, your moves with everyone. Let your success speak for you and not you speaking for your success. The other aspect of silence I want to talk about again is the meditative aspect of silence. Some of you go about looking for some say um how to be spiritually um how to open your eyes spiritually and all that do you know that silence is one of the criterias of being spiritually alert 
if you're not a silent person, if you're not a meditative person, you will not be spiritually alert. I am not saying silent people don't talk. That is not what I am saying. I'm not saying silent people don't sit down with others to talk or discuss or whatever. That is not what I am saying. I'm not saying silent people um, are perfect. No, that is not what I am saying. But what I'm literally saying is the power in silence in your journey of spirituality. The power in silence in your journey of success in life. The number one thing you do to be spiritually inclined is be a person of silence. Now, do you know that for you to receive a message from God Almighty, you must be a person of silence. After prayer, you sit silence and that still voice that speaks to you, it is the voice of it is the voice of knowledge. It is the voice of God telling you this thing is wrong. Telling you go ahead, I am behind you and all that. You can only get that in silence, not in noise and cause. Silence will transform you spiritually. And this, you, it, this transformation will show physically in you. I am not saying you should start keeping quiet. There is difference between quietness and being silent. The two are different. If you want to obtain um, spiritual alertness, if you want to get message, if you want to get revelation, be a person of silence for some minutes in your home, in your room, meditate, be silent, sit quietly. And you begin to be spiritually alert. Your, your, your higher self will begin to open. Be a person of silence today. And observe your life. How it will change for good. Do not give the enemy a channel to come into your life and destroy you. Once again... Silence, they say, is golden. I will stop here. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you.